That's why women are getting tats and piercings. Tattoos and piercings were formerly reserved for sailors, gamblers, monsters, prostitutes, and others who did not fit into society. We have just recently, in the last 10 to 15 years, seen the emergence and spread of tattoo culture all across the world. In terms of piercings, the piercing culture was tolerated, and their parents appeared to allow them to get them because it wasn't considered a permanent error, and the piercings could be removed at any moment without causing them any real harm. Tattoos, on the other hand, serve a specific function and cannot be removed as easily or inexpensively. Today, women cover themselves in tattoos as a kind of mating signal to attract tattooed guys. They'd like to take on the character of a female chameleon. That's all there is to it. Perhaps they're doing it to fit in with other women socially. Women with tattoos are frequently spotted at several of the restaurants and pubs. Covering tattoos is also a way for a lady to flaunt her status in terms of the amount of money she spent on them in the first place. She's claiming to be rich enough to pay thousands of dollars to have her body tattooed. It's the same with women who wear false nails. They're sending out a message to the rest of the world that they don't have to work very hard or perform any manual labor. Women are notoriously bad at long-term planning. With their saggy bits, they can't picture themselves at 30 or 40. Women with tattoos have a lower chance of having a long-term relationship because they will lose their attractiveness as they age and they are less emotionally stable than women without tattoos. Tattooed women are definitely broken, according to the signs. Tattooed women are more assertive and have more sexual partners. Isn't it self-evident that if you have tattoos all over your body and you're a woman, the only way to draw attention to them is to remove your clothing? According to the National Institute of Health's Haywood, women with tattoos initiate sex earlier, have more intercourse, and have more unprotected sex while they're teenagers. Tattooed women lack forethought since they are more impulsive and risk-takers. That could be because they're thinking about how their bodies will age, and the article also claims that women with tattoos have lower IQ. According to science, tattooed people are angry and prone to delinquent behavior. Tattooed psychiatric patients are more likely to have antisocial personality disorder, as well as to have been sexually assaulted, used drugs, or attempted suicide in the past. Females with body piercings were linked to the violence. It's difficult to argue with scientific facts. Tattoos are extremely popular among women since they are trendy. You can see sophisticated women with their tattoos or classy designs. In the pornographic industry, Women are increasingly seen with tattoos on their hands and necks, and trends that emerge there will eventually find their way into the mainstream. The difficulty is that many employers will not hire people who have noticeable tattoos. Caviar women have long utilized clothing, jewelry, and makeup to convey their youthfulness and sexuality. They're now getting tattoos. Women have no idea what they're doing, and they don't realize that the more color they put in their tattoos, the more trouble they'll have in the future. They don't seem to realize that it's permanent and that no matter how much money they spend on expensive lasers, the outline will always be there and they'll never be able to totally erase it. Making love to these cat ladies who have stretched out tattoos over their cankles and foo paws will be like making love to a faded billboard smelling like whiskers and cheese. You'll most likely be number 102. You basically get to ride on her. It's called a stamp for a reason. It's common knowledge that women with tattoos want to show them off by taking their clothing off. Women used to be able to deliberately place their tattoos on their ankles, lower backs, or anywhere else where the sun didn't shine. Getting tattoos has health consequences, such as adverse skin reactions and an increased risk of cancer. According to the study, red ink is the most harmful. The Food and Drug Administration controls vitamins and supplements in the United States, but it does not regulate tattoo ink. Today, many tattoos are done with low-cost Chinese ink, and you have no idea what you're putting into your body. People didn't live as long in the past as they do now, and there weren't nearly as many prostitutes and criminals to examine. What is the human body's exposure to tattoos and toxins? Cancer has been linked to tattoo ink in the past. We're putting ink in our bodies with no answers or research to back it up. The government simply turns a blind eye because those firms generate tax income, and who cares if people contract illnesses or die as a result of tattoos?
In the United States, the tattoo industry is worth over $2 billion, and the FDA is only now looking into how tattoo ink is broken down within the body. They contain a lot of dangerous elements, such as mercury, and women are stupid enough to acquire a lot of tattoos. Are they really going to be thinking about cancer at the age of 40 or 50 if they aren't worried about sagging tattoos at the age of 30? Nothing else matters to them but how they appear right now. As a result, they expect others to save them. They will later claim that the Food and Drug Administration failed to adequately warn them and will most likely sue the government. Women will go to any length to avoid taking responsibility for their decisions, including getting tattoos. If the only way to get a woman to stop getting tattoos is to put warnings on them and make them socially unacceptable, we'll probably see a return to piercings because everything is cyclical. And once your parents hear about how bad tattoos are, they'll basically warn their kids about it and they won't be socially acceptable. Many women will, at the absolute minimum, have smaller tattoos. We all know that ladies will go to extremes to improve their appearance. That's all I've got for today. We'll see you in the next video.